Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. We are checking out a game called Demetrios, the Big Cynical Adventure. Yes, uh, this was provided to us from Koikak Games to be, to be checked out by us on the channel, but um, I know little about it other than I believe it is a point-and-click adventure. But um, yeah, I'm going to take. Uh, I'm just going to let my. I'm going to let the game envelop me. We're, we're just going to. We're just going to waltz into it and see what lunacy sits behind a title called the Big Cynical Adventure. Uh, my, with a name like that, you're kind of upselling me a fair bit from the beginning because if anybody else remembers this game, this is, a, this is a, there's a game from Psy Entertainment back in the early '90s called Kingdom O Magic, which was literally a um, standard hero adventure point and click game where you have to see it with the princess kill the dragon and rescue the treasure no wait it wasn't it was you have to slay the princess rescue the treasure and mate with the dragon i think was actually the part of the game each one it was all like a uh, fmv sequence bizarre kind of like you had to time your movements around a level point and click adventure if you've never heard of it i would highly recommend checking it out it was insane it was weird and it had so many so many rude jokes in it that i was playing as a child so I hope Demetrius can live up to a modicum of my expectations coming from that game, even though it's like, what, 25 years, 25 years ago that game came out? Jesus. Oh, I'm getting so old. Why am I so old? Time! Time, you cruel bitch! Why did you do this to me? Okay, let's take a look at Demetrius before I actually lose my mind. Okay. Demetrius, the big cynical adventure. Not even the small one. I'm all about the demo they released beforehand was the small one. Cowcat? I know I know I've seen that logo before on another game that we covered here on the channel. I'm curious to know is if, is this more visual novelly than it is uh, I've got a feeling this is more visual novel than it actually is point and click. <laughs> Dunno why. Oh, obviously, uh game overs? Oh, oh! Well, I've got many ways to finish off this game. Um extras. Extra music, extra scenes, okay. Trophies to unlock, credits, of course, for the people who made it. I'm just going to take a quick look at the basic settings here to see if there's anything of interest in the settings. Just because... Toilet humor, all, all the toilet humor! Jesus! Of course! Wait, what? After moving to another room? Alright, so if you actually you can turn off the toilet humor per room? Alright, odd. Uh, controls, basically enough. Left stick, right stick, zoom or right stick, touchpad, boop, boop, boop. All good and grand. So this uh, this really does feel like it was a point-and-click adventure, or like a, it was a game that was played on a tablet or on a mobile phone, which we're going to see more and more here. Like, yeah, the control pad is slowly dying, as far as kid gamers are concerned. Like, say, yeah, give them a pad, and then just go and like, right, play it. And they're like, can I press this? Yes, you can press the button. Can I press? Yes, you can press whatever button you want. You're not going to break anything by doing it. And then they immediately press a button. They press the one button that closes the game. And they're like, how did, how did you do that? Well, let's take a look here. Uh, jumping into a new game. Automatic save. Who was playing this? Do you like toilet humor? Yes, give me all of it. Give me all the poop. <laughs> Paris, a hot July night. My name is Bjorn. Bjorn, er. Uh, oh, yes. Bjorn Thuin. Sorry, I'm a bit drunk currently. Anyway. I feel like I I go. A phone call. And yeah, a phone call. I was very, very drunk. Uh, hello, Mister Thorn. Uh, hey, I need to warn you. You're in grave danger. Ah, I had a good prank. <laughs> Night. No, wait, don't. I if only I if only had known. A phone call was for something and I didn't read in time. Later that night. <laughs> I used to prefer that over the crack crack. Boom! Shit! Huh? What is this? in my apartment. Um, I, the first thing that came in mind. To a flashlight, move towards the sun. That's, that's what you do. I seem to be none. But then, boom! I fell fell for. I was very, very drunk. A few hours later, I arrived Sunday. I said, the phone! Ring! 
I had to pick it up. Oh? You're why the heck are you still home? Eh, uh, Tom, I have some trouble. Don't tell me you forgot you were fishing today. Come here at once. Hi, I do think I'll be done. I have some important matters to tend to. Knowing you, I guess you won't change your mind. Alright then, just come for dinner this evening. You can tell me more then. I, I do my best. See ya. Ah, I had her. What happened already? I think someone was in my apartment. He must have knocked me out. Before I report to the police, I believe better check and see if anything missing. Chapter One! Bum bum bum! Paris Maris. Oh, how did I just conduct my search? Uh. Accelerate? Slow movement? Fast movement? Okay. View hotspots. Open menu bar. Validate. Right. I'm good. So. This way is really something. A show interpretation for the pattern of. According to ancient alien theorists, this ship possesses a UFO destroying the Earth's judgment day. But some others say the truth is out there. I like to steal my lines from the next one. Piero della Francesca. Oh, could me. Stone of France. Or maybe French fries? Uh. That armchair looks nice. I'm, I'm, I'm the, the drunk voice is going to drive me around the van if he's going to talk for everything. Never ever give a drunk voice to the main character of a goddamn game. That armchair looks nice. Well, actually, it's awful. After sitting there for an hour, I can't get out of it. I lost the remote control, so I stuck on the cooking fan channel. Only cooking program. <laughs> Ugly piece of pottery. Marry me, Fire. You gave me this. I couldn't bring myself to throw it out. I'm just. Uh, I'm assuming. Uh, let's take a look at the tray. Why? Uh, hey, it wasn't like that yesterday. We must have stepped on it. Seriously, what kind of thief trips over our trash bags? I'm so annoyed. I'm going to do something. Uh, there is nothing for me to grab. There's a cat. Oh, a cat in the cupboard. Ah! The cat up there. What is this? It looks like a cat of food. I should grab it. Yeah, it's so high. I'm so high. Ah, uh, not high enough, though. Alright, so. Sausages and beans? Oh, for October 1998. Well, I say it's best to eat it before that today. Not required. Good enough for me! Yeah, okay. So this is starting to get goofy. One of my favorites, my favorite for winter. They really keep me off feet warm. I wonder where the other one is. Jesus Christ, this is, um... This is obviously a point-and-click adventure game that is... got the feel of actually being a hidden object game where I don't... I have literally... What? What? I, what point do I have of actually, like, looking at all these objects? Is there is there some reason why it's let me read all of these things? Is there anything? His blush. What? Uh. Uh. Right. It's kind of wearing me thin a little bit. Okay. I got a pair of scissors. Okay. I'm literally I'm literally clicking around everywhere I possibly can. But there is so, so much to look at in each room. I have no idea what contextually would make sense. Go ahead. Oh well. Let's go into the toilet. Uh, tablets? Is that something you need to take? No. Uh, toy cars? Do you need to take the toy cars with you? What's behind the curtain? Uh, poster is important. Weird paper. There we go. It looks like a door. Bell's here. The other side. What 
the hell is this? Uh, to Mr. Bruin, Mr. Bass, Object Seal, Antique Statue. Okay. So obviously there's an antique statue of some sort that I need to grab. That's what that's probably what somebody actually came here looking for in the first place. So God. Can of paint? Do we need to take a can of paint? No. So we need to go into a room. I'm assuming there's actually some Good grief. There's just so much stuff to actually look at in here that it's feels. All right, so is this a statue? There we go. All right, that's all recognizable from the title screen. I was actually like, they're going like, where are we going to go? Where, what, what do we do to actually move progress? I got the statue a few months ago. Oh, the first poster ever. Yeah, but look cool. Hey, hey man, there was a tablet on it earlier. I remember it clearly because it uh, fell and I moved a statue around me. But I know I put it back, it was a tablet shaped like a lightning bolt. It's gone. And I don't see it anywhere else in here. So, the thief must have taken it. But why? I better tell the police about this. Okay. Great. Are we done? And take your phone with you. No. Where is your cell phone? Alright, now are we going to go searching for a cell phone? There we go. Ah, why are we searching for things? Right, so... He, 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 can't, he was in this room and he picks up the flashlight instead of the variety of weapons he keeps in the room. Are you absolutely kidding me? Bag of chips. Wait a minute, take a look at you. Hmm, still good. Uh, closet? Pocket. Okay. Ah, you'd be a surprise. Beat must have taken it. At least he left my ADR. What a gentleman. Hey, I'm drunk in the photo too. Ugh. Can't remember where he stored his hidden money. Rip. Urgent box. Ah, it's gonna be something like urgently. You need money from here. Uh, do we need a tie? Okay. Mask, handcuffs, belt, and a whip. Uh, you never know when you need handcuffs. Yeah. Yeah, simple whip. Very gentle. Not too painful. I love it up my ass. Oh, sorry. Hey, my Eiffel Tower. I love up my ass. A mini vibrating Eiffel Tower. Exactly what I thought it was. Hey, batteries! So, we're going to use that with that. Fabulous! And then there was light! Yes, we'll put on the torch. Then we can see. Oh, there's another flashlight. Fantastic. Ah, I find something interesting. Got a small key. So what are you using for? Well, it's a small key. You should have. It. So literally, there is nothing worthwhile searching for in here. It's a well, step one, another step, I suppose. Um, bathroom is up there. Bedrooms there. Lock cupboard. There we go. So we take the small key and we use it in the locked cupboard. Hey, some money! What's that? Five versus seventy-five euros? I thought I had more left. Uh, just because I me got drunk, that would happen. I me without my credit card. Great. Jesus Christ. Um. Do we? Can we leave now? Oh, hello, Bjorn. Pardon me, did you hear all that racket last night? Racket? What racket? Come here playing tennis. 
It sounded like an argument in the hall. Don't tell me you didn't hear it. It woke me up in the middle of the night. I don't know it. I'm a heavy sleeper. Also, two balls are up. Two full balls are up. Say, Sandra, what do you do for a living? What am I, sir? Or maybe barbecue cleaner? Bjorn, I'm a nurse. My job forced me to move to Paris. You're an asshole. You have me any more of what happened like that? It was two men judging from their voices. And? And oh, one had a deep voice with a foreign accent. Looking forward to doing that one. What about the other voice? Let me think. It was rather high pitched, and that's pretty much all I remember. Oh, uh, me? Pitching myself. That's right, which? I'm telling you. I know it was. Alright, so. Uh. Language. Chinese or African, uh, or maybe she was just too far from them, or what's more like. Alright, so obviously, this is an investigative, conversational, long run game. And, um. That book you told me about? Uh, it feels the pace is glacially slow. It really, really doesn't feel like um, there's an adventure happening right here. Um. Uh, Light switch for uh, people, uh, people on the wall. Yeah. Uh, use chewing gum? Jesus. A weird or disgusting human being. So. He's, oh, so he's an antique seller. That's why he has those kind of store, that stuff stored in his place. That makes sense. Um, I want to go inside. Well, I've always been forced open. There's a very much something in my store, too. What were they looking for? Let's see if anything's missing. It would help if you told me what might be missing in the first place if we had seen the interior of the store in any way, shape, or fucking form. Jesus. Uh, I'm looking around to see if there's anything that actually has left, like an indentation in the goddamn wall. Um... Nothing open there. Nothing gone from the wall. I have to go eat. Wander upstairs. Uh, the piano. Well, that's great. Um, I have no idea what else to look for then. <laughs> Wait, it's been empty for ages. That's because I make no goddamn money. Fifty percent off everything new. In an antique store. I get the joke. Ha! Ah! Well, at least you find your mobile phone. No. Nope. Ugh. You find it in the top bar? Oh, top bar? Aye. It says that navigation of the screen is a pain because it actually, the background eats, or the edge of the screen eats uh, some of the actual view. I'd actually have more luck reading it on my actual like capture screen than I would be actually playing the game because the way it's actually, the edges are all covered over on my, um, on the, uh, you know, you know, like on the edges of a TV screen where there's actually a little bit where the trim of the TV goes over the top of the edge of the screen. God, I, like I'm, my brain is I'm, my brain. I'm getting stupider by doing the drunk voice while I'm playing this. I'm just looking at it, going like, where in the world am I going to get my phone from? Kind of what? Ugh. So I. I I have no idea what I need to do. I can't tell if there's anything stolen here. I don't want to go through everything in the goddamn room. Nothing seems to be missing from my store. There you go. Probably came in looking for something. So what should I do now? Wow. Oh, fine clues in the apartment. So literally, we just we came out here for the express purposes of getting this phone and then coming straight back to the apartment. Guys, this is, uh, as much as this has got uh, maybe charming and got its own potty humor, like it literally had a fart. That's, that's what it's fart, that's what it's potty humor actually was. This is, 
pretty boring. Um, it's, it's not the. I'm sure there's actually some sweet and endearing charm to this game that I'm missing here, but um, I'm weak for actual kind of content. Maybe me, Tom, phone Tom. Just a, just gonna phone Tom, see what the crack is. Oh, who's this? Um, hey, this is Bart. What's up? Let's try my foot. You're a trade, right? You're kidding, right? Don't you have anything more important to do? Oh, really? Well, get to it. Okay, okay. I uh, report to the police. All right, so there. Oh, there we go. So it actually is tell me that I need to go to the police. Uh, that's convenient. Uh, whenever it says like use that tooltip and it doesn't actually use the immediate tooltip that actually should be coming up next. It said like find things in the apartment. It should have just literally said go to the police because you end up giving me something that's slightly off of what we're looking for. I'll wander off to the wrong place. He's playing Pong. All right. Hello. Hello. Hi. Ah, talking to you. Mr. Donan says Eugene has some hearing problems. What? You mean you can't hear anything I say? Precisely. Oh, sure. If you've got any questions, ask me. Can I help you? Yes, I know you fair compete for burglary and aggression. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Don't get carried away. First of all, do you have your ID with you? What? Uh, you don't even ask my name first? There are two options. If you have an ID card, your name is written on it. If you don't, any answer you give would be wouldn't be acceptable anyway. <laughs> Here you go. Ah, finally. See? That wasn't so hard. Two for your shots. Let's see. Mr. Bjorn Thonin. Say, your name doesn't sound very French. Also, the fact that uh, my police officer voice does not sound very French. I'm Bart Bart. I'm French and over the line. Oh, don't lose your temper. That was just a little joke. But you're right. These days, I don't feel so well. What? And I'm so thirsty in here. I wish we had a nice cream machine. Anyway, let me get off topic. So you like to fail complete? One second, I'll grab a four. Go on, tell me what happened. Oh yeah, yeah, I was at my shoes for a second. I hear I am. There you know everything. Interesting. So now I'll just wait for the ink to dry and then put your complaint into the appropriate file cabinet. Hey, I don't get it. I spin that I've been right and not unconscious, and that's all you do? Wow, 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 this is going slow. I just think guys, um I'm not massively excited by the Matrix. The big cynical adventure is very, very slow to take off. I'd be interested in playing a bit more of this. Um, how do you want? I'm going to finish this conversation. Anyone with any sense would understand that we only follow up with the most important cases. Hopefully we'll find your aggressor. Oh, a whole barrel of luck, you mean? Sorry, I'm going to do more for you. All right, missing tablet. I'd like to report something important. Yes, you see, I've got a rare statue at home. Supposed to be some kind of tablet on. It's gone. It was there yesterday. No, I can't find it anywhere. So, there I may be a feed for after. They're stolen it. Or maybe you just moved the tablet someplace else, or it would be in the trash when you used your vacuum cleaner. You don't take me seriously, do you? Is it because I'm drunk? No, no, I don't. Listen, I'll add this to the complaint file if that's what you want. Yeah, but don't you say there's no other burger? Yeah, yeah, if you say so. Alright, I'm going to go out, <clears throat> leave the store, go back to my store, get an ice cream, and ice cream man. You want an ice cream? Of course not, I'm here to buy groceries. <laughs> I see you're quite the funny one, huh? <laughs> Bye. I'd like a, a nothing. I wouldn't mind buying a delicious ice cream, but with the current state of my finances, what are your specialities? Alright, so... Oh, God. Alright, so I need to go find him more... Wow! Wow! This is... This is actually... No. No, I'm done. I'm done. As much as much as this has got... Jay trying to aim itself to charm and has slightly rude jokes and stuff in it, I've... I've, I've, I've reached my limit. I've reached my limit. Um, uh, Demetrius, you, you just... Uh, you don't have me. Oh, God, I have to find cookies. Oh, God. Ah, uh, yes. Right. 
I need to get out of this uh, save. Yes, do that. Get out. And, 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 and. So Demetrius, um, the big cynical adventure, it's a bit slow to pick off. Uh, I, I, with any kind of point-and-click adventure game, you kind of have to have a great instigating incident. That's the that's one that I've always felt about the point-and-click genre, where there's actually something that kind of goes like, right, big thing. And Demetrius' intro really falls, it doesn't fall flat, it's just very, very slow. And the fact that it's done like as a page panel comic strip, it really, really doesn't pick me up. Um, it's, I, 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 I might finish this, I'm playing in my own time, but did you find that funny? Did you find that entertaining? Did you find the body humor you can turn on and off really exciting? Because that felt slow, sluggish, and un, uninformed and uninteresting to, in a lot of the parts. Its pace was glacial. Uh, I might come back to this and look at it further in future. Kyle Cat, I apologize, but you really did not hook me in that first. How long were we playing this? 26 minutes. 26 minutes of your game, and I'm bored. So, so very bored. With a title like The Big Cynical Adventure and trying to go for this kind of like bright, cheery side style, uh, you're not Deponia. You're not uh, Broken Sword. You're not. Discworld, you're not Secret of Monkey Island. You didn't hook me, so I apologize profusely, but I'm done. I'm done with the game for this video. And if you imagine at this point, if you guys are actually still here as well, thank you very much for sticking around. If you want to know, if you really want to see more of Demetrius and you want to see that voice and hear that voice again, wow. I don't know what's up with your ears. But um, yeah, you're more than welcome to do so. Just make sure to put a comment underneath the video and I'll actually come back and play a bit more of this. Of course, up in the top right corner, if you actually enjoyed this, you can hit the subscribe button. But I'd highly recommend subscribing for anything other than this video. There's plenty of other stuff that's actually available on the channel to check out. And um, if you don't do the subscribe thing, completely understand, you don't have to. All you have to do is memorize the name. Pastiche of Skin. It's right across there. All you have to do is memorize it. Uh, it's easy to find me. Just search for me. Throw it into Google. Anywhere it says Pastiche of Skin, that's where I'll be. I won't be too far away. I'm not trying to hide. So, of course, if you actually enjoyed this and you're watching this on YouTube, there's a button up there you might want to press. Right here, there is actually a playlist. Over the far side will be the most recent video. And right here is a video just for you, based on the user analytics and the things you do on YouTube. It will pick a video right here at the end for you to be entertained by. So I hope you check it out. And it's actually a good one. I like that one. It was pretty fun. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.